All right, welcome back to the OC Tanner Factory floor where we help people thrive at work. Today, we're gonna to talk about group leaders and how they fit into the innovation and long-term strategy of OC Tanner. Yeah, so we thought we would uh, do something a little different and show some of the new innovation and technology that's out in our market today, like this uh, cool new electric motorcycle. And uh, I'm gonna take us into the next shot. All right, take it away, Josh. Um, now we have Gary here, and we're going to talk about the group leader role. It's a uh, it's a very important role we have yep. here at the company. We've got some great people that are in that position. What what are kind of like the ideal attributes? Yeah, you know, I, uh, just as you were saying that, I was thinking how a lot of people who come here one, sometimes one of the questions that they ask us is, "Hey, what percent of your managers, your group leaders, are, are bought in?" <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> All of them, uh -huh. <laughs> and that seems to surprise people. I don't know. You probably got one or two, or like still, no, we don't. But you know, probably, uh, probably at the heart of of uh, of where we want them is is I want I want group leaders who genuinely care about the well being of others, who who when they see somebody, their heart goes out to them, and they're like, man, how can I help you? You know. Uh, or how can I inspire you, you know, to, to see new options, new potentials, and then, and then help you, if you want it, help you achieve that. And I, I think people who, you know, we do these L4s, and at the top of the, where I'm interviewing every exempt employee about how they are uh, helping, that's outward mindset they have towards others. And at the top is their purpose statement. And I love the group leaders whose purpose statement says, you know, I, I want to reach out to other people and help them achieve more and be more and get more and desire more. Uh, I think that's a pretty good attribute for a group leader. Because I think team members can feel when you really care <laughs> about me being better. How can I help you? And, and who believe that uh, at OC Tanner, the best way to be successful is to help other people be successful. You know, don't focus on your own success. So I think that's a big deal. I think, you know, the, the, the bottom of the shingle model uh, is the cultural principles, uh, foundational cultural principles that upon which, if you don't have these, you're going to struggle to get people aligned to value to the client. You're going to struggle to get people to continuously improve. And, and that is respect for others and humble leadership. You know, if their mother taught them, you know, to, to, you know, be respectful. Okay, I like that. I think it's, I think it's critical, um, especially in their teams. I mean, if, they're, if, if everyone on their teams doesn't feel respected and honored by them, it's just not going to work. And then humble leadership, uh, for me, is, is this belief that uh, I don't have to know everything. Mm. I don't have to be the one who comes with all the knowledge you guys on the team, you, you, you have the knowledge. I'm, I'm just here to help you be your best. So, so what, what do you think we should do? How do you think we should solve this problem? And, and maybe in that conversation, I realize that you're lacking a critical tool for decision making or for problem solving. Okay, well, that's my job, is to teach you yeah. how to solve the problem better, or how to approach this, or maybe you know, have, have you heard of Pareto analysis? You know, or you know anything. Um, and 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 if they're if that's the way they're approaching questions, not see if you can guess what I think the answer is. Mm. You know, that's just not going anywhere. That's going to kill a culture of continuous improvement. Group leaders uh, group their role is one of our most important positions here at the company. And if you want to find out more about some of the principles and attributes of a group leader. Check out our channel. We've got a lot of great content there, and then we'll get, add more over time. Excellent. I would always go to the channel first, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. <laughs> we go now to a discussion with three directors on what is the group leader role. So we've got uh, three uh, wonderful directors here at OC Tanner, and they have a number of group leader managers that report to them in a variety of different uh, product groups. And we're, we're talking about the uh, group leader manager role and what that looks like. So uh, let's let's talk about what uh, what you feel like makes a great uh, group leader manager and what is the role. 
Well, maybe I'll start off by just saying uh, the number of things that can make a great manager or group leader are substantial. And it doesn't have to take the same set for each one. And I think that's important for leadership overall is that a leader develops their own style. But I think we can talk a little bit more about what we see as signs of great leadership or the impacts we might notice on the team from great leadership. And I think that's maybe a little bit more appropriate. Um, and there are certainly characteristics or behaviors that we know accelerate a person's leadership. So for me, um, group leader or manager position, it, it has a lot of responsibility that it carries. Um, so our group leaders or managers are responsible for um, production. But at the same time, um, having this um, right um, um, skill and talents of, um, and passion for people is, I think, what makes all of the difference. Structurally, the way we look at a group leader, we have the team members who do the value-add work, and that'll be the same for any organization. And then typically what you'll see is a shift lead or a line lead or, or kind of this um, person that helps ensure the work gets out the door, coordinate the daily work, and help focus on team members improving specifically their skills as, as it's exercised against that value at work. And then the manager role for us, we see as that person who sets the environment and conditions in which those things happen. And so um, this difference between having the answers versus setting conditions in which it's a healthy environment and the team can make good decisions and make improvements and grow and equipping that team with what they need to be successful. Uh, I think success in the group leader role uh, is it's, Yes, there are definitely, we want hard business um, measurables, right? Profit margin increase and cost savings, uh, shipping on time. Like, th that's the basic, right? Um, but success, and I think you even mentioned this, Tyson, is when you walk into a Gemba, you do a Gemba visit into a team, and there's energy, and there's excitement, and they can't wait to grab you and say, dude, Adam, check this out. Like, look at this. The first five times we ran this, it failed, and then look what we're seeing right here. And there's that energy. That is something you can't hardly, like you can't you know, measure it from one to 10, but man, you can feel it when you go in there. And uh, that I feel like is a huge indicator that we actually use here is, hey, there's a ton of excitement and energy for continuous improvement, for experimenting, for hey, it's okay to fail and share those failings uh, with the, the team and to laugh about them, right? Because that's part of the learning process. Let's now hear from three group leaders about their experience being a group leader. Hello. Good morning, Welcome. everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome. Morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, and for our audience who isn't familiar with like a group leader, does one of you or some of you want to share with us like what is the day in the life of a group leader? What do you do? Sure, we're, we're basically operational managers. We um, oversee day-to-day -day, uh, operations in, in our teams. Uh, we are uh, developing and growing our people. So day to day, it's basically working with our teams, uh, um, strate strategizing uh, uh, from day to day all the way to the strategy deployment projects, um, uh, teaching, growing, developing, coaching our mm -hmm. team members, uh, collaborating with our colleagues uh, in our value streams and across value streams, you know, we have a very successful uh, morning huddle that we get together uh, day shift in the morning and second shift has also huddle in the afternoon and we share resources. Uh, we are uh, very much so working for the same team mm -hmm. uh, and that's what our day-to-day -day life looks like. But I think what's interesting about what we do as group leaders versus maybe leadership um, at previous opportunities or um, other employment um, I always felt like leadership was just the ones that knew everything and therefore they were promoted and, and could tell everybody what to do because they knew everything that was going on. And I've really felt like the group leader role is starkly different. There's, a, there's definitely a good piece of you have to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but beyond that, we um, are very much so because our, we consider the team members the experts, we are very much so their support. So we are just there yep. to remove all roadblocks, keep them out of meetings, keep them getting, you know, keep 
keep their their mental capacity and their their the mental state well um so that they can do what they do best which is which is you know work the line and, and manufacture amazing and beautiful products um and that. we do everything we can to, to make sure that they can focus on that and mm -hmm. try to remove all the fluff right and so we become kind of a support team rather than just a leadership that knows everything yeah. um, and we can ask the right questions and, and really get to the root of the problems and, and support them in that way and we are I love uh, that. supporting them in that way we are also empowering them to take the uh, like she said uh, we we know that they're experts so we, we encourage them and empower them to actually improve uh, to work the standard work, but also to challenge that standard work and improve the standard work. When we hire, we hire for uh, uh, their uh, uh, personalities, we hire for attitude, and we are, we teach the job skills. So we are there to make sure that, they're, uh, that they have tools that they can use to improve those processes and always work smarter, not harder. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Thank you. That's Anything you'd like to add, Mike? Yeah, I mean, in, in, in every day, in, what an everyday looks like is we wear a lot of hats. We have a lot of authority, and it's, it's almost like running your own business. Mm -hmm. So every one of us, our teams are individual businesses. You know, we start from the recruiting, bringing in the right people. We're, we're a big part of, of the HR group and team and, and how we coach people, how we onboard them, how we teach the culture. Uh, you know, we're responsible for firing, hiring and firing, development, uh, the workload, the production. So you're really wearing a lot of different hats throughout the day, you know, keeping the team on time, meeting the production needs, making adjustments as necessary mm -hmm. when work goes up and down. And we have to work amongst ourselves and together uh, and flexing our people around. And there's a lot of that that goes on, different tiered meetings and different alignment throughout the day. But it's just a, it's a very uh, rewarding um, multitask day. You're doing a lot of yeah. different things every day. Yeah. Thanks so much for all you do, yeah. truly. <laughs> you guys are always running around, taking care of a lot. I see it. <laughs> we go now to two team leaders who recently were promoted to due to right great side. training and development <laughs> from group leaders. I'm on my good side, so. <laughs> all right, we're on your good side. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Mitzi, and you're a brand new team leader to the cast team. Yes. And we're talking about the influence that group leaders have on our career and our development. So talk a little bit about your experience with uh, the group leader. Well, the group leaders, both Landon and Elma, have been very um, kind and open and very understanding. Um, I'm new, so obviously I'm going to have a lot of questions. Um, they seem to know exactly what they're talking about with this company um, and just help guiding me towards um, being a good leader as in like telling me to be myself, giving me the confidence to be able to do, you know, the work that I can do, so. You know what I think is great about your experience and, and shows that there's something really special going on? You've been here for nine months. Yes. And you're now a team leader. Yes, it's very quick. The people that they look for, like the people with the personalities that are able to talk to people easily, able to give direction, able to, you know, be a person that people aren't afraid to go to. You know what I've noticed in the time that you've been here? So I've noticed that you, uh, you're a delightful person to work with. You're very approachable, oh, which you. is helpful as a leader. Yeah. But I've also noticed that in the time you've been here, your confidence level has increased. Thank you. And I can tell the way that you carry yourself, the way you interact with other people, that that confidence is carrying over. Yes. Which is why I think you're going to be awesome. Oh, thank you. As a team leader. That's what I want. You know, I want to be able to help people and have people not be afraid to like ask me things. And like, I want to be a good leader. Like, uh, back to my mom. You know, she has such a good reputation here, and everyone that, that I've talked to loves her so much. And so I'm like. I want to have that same reputation, you know, I want people to be like, oh, Mitzi, oh my gosh, I love her, I can go to her and I, she will help me. Yeah, I think you, uh, you hit on something that's really important. You see some feedback that's honest mm -hmm. and feedback that's helpful for you. So you mm -hmm. can recognize that there's something specific, yeah. but then they're also encouraging you. 
Thank you. Well, it has been such a pleasure to meet with you today. Thank you. Your insights, it really has. Thank you. And we wish you luck in your role as a team leader. Thank you. I think you're going to do great. Thank so, you. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, Maddie, thank you so much for taking a minute to chat with us. Yeah, of course. Um, as we're talking about group leaders and the role that they play, tell me how your group leader has supported you in your time here. So I became a team leader really quickly. Um, so I didn't know a whole lot about the company to begin with as a team leader. Um, but Lydia uh, supported me in just being a team member first and then becoming a team leader. Um, and she has taught me every single thing. You know, I'm, not, I'm never afraid to ask questions. Um, I'm always going to her, probably too much if she <laughs> um, But, you know, she's always coaching me and helping me in every way. Um, you know, she's always like, text me if you need anything, call me if you need anything. So, you know, I always feel like I can text and call her um, and ask her any questions all of the time. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. How about you personally and your growth? How, what has she done for you and your coachings and different things like that? You know, she, um, I'm not afraid to ask stupid questions if Good. there's such Good. a thing, um, but she just kind of explains everything. Even, you know, I haven't been here for super long, and so she, she just kind of explains and breaks things down for me, um, even if I don't understand it the first time. It's great. Awesome, awesome. And she helped you be, feel ready for the team leader position? For sure, yeah. yeah. Awesome. You know, I'm still growing. I'm still taking the classes and getting there, but... Yeah, I love it. Well, good. You've done. You've had some amazing growth in your time here, Thank and we're you. proud of where you've come, and excited to see where you'll go. So. Yeah, I'm excited too. Thanks for your time, Maddie. Appreciate yeah, it. Of course. <laughs> well, we had a we had a great video today, and there was a lot of great content shared. We love the insights that were given from our leaders, and also from some of the team members that have had great experiences with our leadership. Absolutely. We really believe that the group leaders, when deployed correctly, can really take everything to the next level on our teams and within OC Tanner as a whole. And I can't talk with the helmet on. <laughs> Catching you, Total. <laughs> Catch us back next time. You can subscribe. You can like this video. We really want to see you back again to learn more. Okay. Till next time. Josh is cold. <laughs> Someone get him a coat. So we're going to do a little training here today. <laughs> now to, to give it gas, which doesn't have any, but uh, you just twist the throttle. Okay. But right now it's in park. So we're going to go to drive. Okay. So now it will go. And these are, these are both your brakes. It shifts automatically, all that. Yep, yep, yep. You don't have to worry about anything. And these are my brakes. Just twist and Rear brake. brake, forward brake. You don't. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Yep, this is the rear, this is the front. Okay. Yeah, so it just Josh has got a big head. It's official. Yep. Okay, that's about as tight as we're going to get. Perfect. There she goes. All right. <laughs> you know what that feels like? It's like you've ridden a bike for so long and you've pedaled so hard that you fly. But it's constant. It's crazy. Yeah, it's super smooth. Okay, one more loop. That was okay, really fun. One more loop, <laughs> alright. There she goes. Oh, she's making a tight turn. She's making oh oh! <laughs> You made it. This is awesome. That was close. <laughs> that was close.